Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Straight On Till Morning, which is the summer collection of the Fortune Cookie Soap Box box. So if you don't know what this kind of video is, I get a subscription box. It's a quarterly box. It's from Fortune Cookie Soap. The things in it are kind of what you would get at Bath and Body Works or Lush, that kind of like bath products, basically. Anyhow, I get it quarterly. I'm not sponsored or anything like this. I pay for this box myself, but I just want to be able to share it with you guys. So let's get started. So I'm already really excited for this box as soon as I knew what the theme was. It's straight on till morning, which is a reference to Peter Pan. And if you didn't know, I really, really like Peter Pan. So I'm already excited about this. So the first item, I've already taken it out of its little wrapper thingy just because it always makes a ton of noise, is the second star to the right, fortune cookie soap. So as you can see, it's a soap that looks like a fortune cookie. So this one says, a happy thought and a bit of pixie dust. Glitter can't make you fly, silly, this isn't an acid trip. Crushed berries and mint leaves with a splash of sparkling pomelo served over your iced sugar cane. And yeah, basically smells exactly like it says. Very berry. The mint gives a little bit of freshness, but it's not like toothpaste minty. I can get a little bit of the citrus and it's definitely just a really sweet berry. Um, this one's pretty cute. It has like glitter in it. So I'm guessing it's gonna get glitter all over my bathtub, but this one smells really good. Definitely a winter scent. The next item is their OCD hand sanitizer, and this is in the scent Tink. This is the fifth box I've got, so I've had them for a little over a year, and these I've gotten in every single box, and I love them, because you basically get hand sanitizer that actually smells good. So this scent is Tink, and it says, do you believe in fairies? Okay, good, we can be friends. Fresh cherries and cream sprinkled with toasted coconut and a fairy dusting of powdered sugar. So I've learned my lesson and don't put this all over your hands because then I won't be able to tell you what every, anything else smells like. So I'm gonna put a little bit kind of on my wrist and give it a sniff. This one smells so good. This kind of reminds me of what I believe was the summer box last year. They had a basically a cherry scent in the Candyland scent, which is what I had gotten as the OCD hand sanitizer and it was my favorite thing ever. Yeah, this one basically smells like cherries and coconut. It's it's very, very sweet. I think it smells great. And it's the cute little green color too. So definitely winner in my book. All right, so the next item is the Lost Boys Whipped Cream. This says, get lost for peach sake. Don't lose your marbles. Golden apricot muddled with fresh white peaches. Very kind of apricot-y scent. You can kind of definitely get the difference between the apricot and the peaches, and it's rather sweet. Like most of the whipped creams, it's a very subtle scent. So this isn't anything that's over the top crazy. Smells good, definitely gonna use that. So this is a new item. This is called a Too Faced Perfume Oil, and this is in the scent Mermaid Lagoon. So as you can see, it's like weirdly separated. So this one says, our coconuts brings all the mermaids to the lagoon, but watch out, they'll probably drown you, them beaches. To use, shake more than twice, it's fun to play with. May stain closing, take it from Bill and Monica. So, shake it up. And then it just turns this solid green. Kind of, my clothing's black, so I'm not too afraid of it. I'm like really afraid of it going all over because I do have light carpet. Um, so it's kind of weird looking. I mean, I could see where they say it's fun to play with. You can probably see that running down my hand. Um, but let's see what it smells like. It's definitely not something that's just gonna soak in. Like I'm rubbing it into my hand. I'm not a big fan of this scent. It smells, okay, it's getting a little bit better as it's kind of deepening. It smells a little bit like Captain Crunch and something, I don't know, something else. Overall, not a huge fan of this. Definitely don't like the scent. And like this does look like it would be really fun to play with. But if I want a perfume oil, I just want it to like sit on my skin and soak in. I don't want to have to touch it. 
So the next item is Kiss Lip Balm. So I already like this because it says, here's a thimble, pucker up. And little side tangent, like Peter Pan is my favorite children's book and I wear an acorn necklace, which you may have seen in my previous videos because I basically wear it every day since I got it. But my now husband, then boyfriend on our first Valentine's Day got me the acorn necklace because in Peter Pan, Wendy sews on his shadow and then he doesn't know what a kiss is, so she gives him a thimble and then he gives her an acorn and she wears it around her neck. So side tangent. So that's why it's a kiss. And it says exotic watermelon, juicy pineapple and coconut water bursting with fresh citrus juices. Yeah, this smells really good. It's not overly watermelony, which I personally don't really like watermelon, so that's nice. Don't really get the coconut water other than there's some type of fresh scent, which could be the coconut water, but it's just kind of watermelon, coconutty, lemony scent. It smells pretty good. I've never tried the lip balms before, but they feel like they'd be pretty nice. I have a lipstick on, so I'm not gonna put it on right now. Let me know if you want me to actually like review any of these rather than just go over the unboxing. I'd be happy to do that. So the next item is the boy who never grew up salt scrub. So this says boys don't want to grow up and girls just want to have fun. Why can't we have both? It says tropical margarita served with a salted rim. I'm excited for this. I haven't got a salt scrub before from them and I love salt scrubs. This smells awesome. This smells awesome. This is something that I would probably get another scent in as well. It basically smells like a margarita. Like you get that kind of limey, I mean, there's sea salt in it, so it's probably why it smells kind of salty. alcohol -y kind of scent. This smells, yeah, it just basically smells like a margarita on the rocks. So this is another new item that at least I haven't seen from Fortune Cookie Soap before, and this is called Windy Bird, and it says a veggie protein deodorant. So this is, I'm very curious about this item. It says, don't be afraid to raise your arm up and flip the bird, the Windy Bird that is, what were you thinking? Bright green apple with a balmy tropical twist. So I also don't know if I want my armpits to smell like green apple, but we'll sniff this. Okay, it's not, it's not as green apple-y as I would have expected. It's not like, you know, those lollipops or like a Jolly Rancher green apple. You, it's more like, you know, Granny Smith green apple. And it kind of has a kind of coconut pineapple scent, which seems to be kind of an overarching theme that we have within this box. This definitely smells good. I'm gonna try it out. I've never tried a veggie protein deodorant or really any of those more natural deodorants before, so. I will try it out and see how I like it, but it does smell very nice. So the last item is the Captain scent and it is a Steam Me Up Scotty. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a, like a shower steamer. So you turn on your shower hot and then you throw this in the bottom of your shower and it steams up and makes like, it smell all nice in your bathroom and in your shower. I actually really like these. Um, I know bath bombs are like huge with the world but I hate taking baths, so I really like getting these because I will use these in a shower. And this says, call yourself a codfish, but don't smell like one. Dewy magnolias, wild berries, drenched with fresh cream. So this sounds like it's gonna smell delicious because I do like magnolias and I definitely like berries. Yeah, this smells amazing. It's that very kind of sweet floral from the magnolias with the berries and you can, you definitely get kind of like a whipped creamy, vanilla-y scent as well. So this is also amazing. That one smells really good. So overall, my thoughts about this, best scent I would say is probably Tink, but you probably don't want this as one of like something to scent your house, but like a body or for the OCD hand sanitizer, those type things. This smells really good because it's that kind of coconut cherry scent, which I think smells great. My next up would be the Captain because this is Magnolia Berry Cream, which I also think is great. And then I would do The Boy Who Never Grew Up because this smells basically like a margarita. 
The only thing that I didn't really like the scent wise would be this one, the Mermaid Lagoon. It kind of just smells like weird Captain Crunch to me. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to smell like, but I'm not a fan. Anyhow, that's everything I got in the box. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know if you get this box, what your favorite scent was, and if you're going to be getting anything like that. Like I stated earlier, I just get this box because I want to get it. It's not something I get sponsored. If you are interested in getting it, it's like $20 a month and it's a quarterly box. So you get it with one with each season and you do get a code. They used to put them on the back here, but now they're getting emailed to you where you get $10 off. So you pay $20 from the box, but you'll get a $10 credit if you're interested in actually purchasing something in the collection. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what videos you'd like to see next in the comments box below and I'll see you guys next time.